Hello guys, my name is Nikander, I'm a professional blockchain developer and in this guide I'm going to show you how to connect your Telegram mini app to a MongoDB database using Prisma. We will implement server-side user creation and retrieval so you can manage user data seamlessly. Additionally, we will build a simple points system that lets users earn points in our app. By the end of this video, we'll have created the simplest Telegram clicker game. Before we begin, I want you to check out my ultimate Telegram mini app clicker game. It's a full stack Next GS14 app featuring a beautiful front end and a robust back end. The app runs smoothly with seamless synchronization between the front end and back end. You can purchase the full app code on my website nikander.com. You can also check out the live version of the app in the official Telegram channel, where I regularly share news and updates about the ultimate Telegram mini app clicker game code. Additionally, if you purchase the code, you will receive a referral link that allows you to earn profit by promoting the code to your friends. All the links are in the description. Let's continue with the topic of this video. Open VS Code, create a new Next.js 14 app, select all the default options and wait a few moments for the project to set up. Install packages, Prisma client, MongoDB, TWA dev types, install Prisma. Run npx prisma init to initialize prisma in our project. It creates the necessary prisma files, including the prisma schema file, where we will define our database models, and it sets up the environment configuration for prisma to connect to our database. It generates a .env file for storing the database URL environment variable. Be careful with this file, because by default it's not listed in the gitignore file. This means if you deploy the project to GitHub without adding it to gitignore, your database URL could be exposed publicly. To prevent this, we need to include .env in the gitignore file alongside .env.local. Now our environment variable should be safe. Open schema.prisma. This code defines a Prisma schema for connecting to MongoDB and managing a user model. Data source uses MongoDB with the connection URL stored in database URL. Generator creates the Prisma client for database interactions. User model includes fields for ID Telegram ID, username, first name, last name, points, created at and updated at. Now we need to configure our database URL environment variable. We need to replace this value with our actual database connection URL. To do this, go to mongodb.com, navigate to projects, Click on your active project or create a new one. Database – Browse Collections. Here we need to create a new database, click Create Database, give it a name and name the first collection, then click Create. I already have a test database that I'll be using for this project. Let's delete the existing data in the user collection so I can show you the entire process, including user creation and adding data to the database. Go to Overview, Connect, click on Drivers. We can see our connection string here, which we need to use in the database URL environment variable. This string should include the username, password and database name. In my case, the database is called test database. So, in the database URL variable, provide the full MongoDB connection string, 
with your username, password and database name. Place the database name before the question mark. Also, don't forget to configure database access. By default, MongoDB won't allow access, so you'll need to add IP addresses in the network access section. For testing, you can allow all IPs by using IP address with all zeros. Run npx Prisma Generate to create the Prisma client, which will allow us to interact with our MongoDB database using the schema we defined. MongoDB database configuration is complete, now we can start writing the code of our app. Create a new folder called lib in the root directory. Inside this folder create a file named prisma.ts. Define a global reference to the Prisma client to avoid creating multiple instances in the development mode. If Prisma is not already defined, we create a new Prisma client with query login enabled. In non-production environments, we assign the Prisma client to the global object to keep it consistent throughout the app. Create a new folder called API inside the app folder, then create another folder called user inside the API folder. Create a file named route.ts inside the user folder. Define a POST function to handle user data requests, extract user data from the request's JSON body. If the user data or ID is missing, we return an error with a 400 status. Query the Prisma client to see if the user with the provided Telegram ID already exists in the database. If the user doesn't exist, we create a new entry with the provided data or a default values for empty fields. Then we return the user data in the response. If any error occurs during the process, it logs the error and returns a 500 internal server error. Inside the API folder, create a new folder called increase points. Then inside the increase points, create a file called route.ts. Define a POST request handler to handle the logic of increasing user points. First, it extracts the Telegram ID from the request body. If the Telegram ID is missing or invalid, it responds with a 400 status code and an error message. If valid, it updates the user's points in the database by incrementing them by one. The updated points are then returned as part of the response. If an error occurs, it catches it and returns a 500 status code with an error message. Go to page.tsx and clear all the existing code. Add use client at the top of the code to ensure this component runs on the client side, allowing us to use hooks like use state and use effect. Extend the global window object to include an optional Telegram property with a nested web app object. This ensures TypeScript knows that when we access window.telegram.webapp, it won't throw errors for missing types, allowing us to safely interact with the Telegram web app API. Define three use state variables. User stores the user data initialized as null. Error stores error messages initialized as null. Notification stores a string for notifications like success messages initialized as an empty string. Define a use effect hook to fetch user data from the Telegram web app when the component mounts. It first checks if the window object is defined 
and if the Telegram web app is accessible through window.telegram.webapp. If Telegram web app is available, it fetches the initialization data provided by Telegram, which contains the user information. If user data is available, it sends a POST request to the API user endpoint, passing the user data from the Telegram. If the server responds successfully, the user data is stored in the user state. If there is an error, it sets an appropriate error message in the error state. If there is a failure in retrieving the data or if the app is not opened in Telegram, it displays an error message. Define a function called handle increase points to send a POST request to the API increase points endpoint. If the request is successful, it updates the user's points and displays a notification saying points increased successfully. If the request fails, an error message is shown. The function also handles setting a temporary notification message, which disappears after 3 seconds. If there is an error, we return a div that displays the error message in red text. Check if the user state is available. If the user data is still being fetched, we return a div that displays a loading message to inform the user that the app is processing the data. Render the main content of the app. We display a welcome message with the user's first name and their current points. There is a button labeled Increase Points that, when clicked, triggers the Handle Increase Points function to increment the user's points. If a notification exists, we display a message confirming the success of the action inside a styled div. Go to layout.tsx, remove the fonts and the body class name. Import the inter font from Google. Create an instance of the font with the Latin subset. Apply the generated CSS class to the body element. Change the metadata. The title should be Telegram Mini App. The description should be a simple Telegram Mini App using Next.js and Prisma. Import the Telegram Web App JavaScript SDK into the page. The strategy before interactive ensures that the script is loaded before the user can interact with the page, making the Telegram Web App functionality available right from the start. Go to next.config.mjs file and add the following lines. This disables ESLint checks during the build process. Go to package.json file and change the build script to Prisma generate ampersand ampersand next build. This ensures that Prisma client is generated before the build process. Our app is ready, let's build it to check if we have any errors. npm run build. Great, we have no errors. Now we can upload the project to GitHub and deploy it to Vercel. When deploying to Vercel, make sure to provide the database URL environment variable. Since the .env file is excluded from our GitHub repository thanks to gitignore configuration, our sensitive data, like the database URL, will remain private and secure. If we open the app in browser, it says no data available because the app is designed to run inside the Telegram environment. Right now, we don't have any users in our database. Let's open the app in Telegram and check the database again. We have one user. Open the app, click on the button four times, we can see the success messages, go to database, 
refresh the page, we have 4 points in database. It works perfectly. That's it for today, folks. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. See you in the next video.